This new asparagus salad takes it to the simplistic level of just that pure asparagus taste and that's what you're going to love about it. I'm going to start by trimming the asparagus. Again, just remember that you can find that woody part by snapping off the bit. Normally it's about 25%, especially this time of year. So I'm just going to knock off about one quarter of those. Set that aside. And now using a peeler that you'd normally use to peel vegetables, I'm going to use this to slice wafer thin pieces so that it's very good and very delicate. We get that pure asparagus flavor. Holding the head of the asparagus, keeping your fingers clear, just run the peeler down using full pressure along the length. You see you get those ribbons of asparagus that are just gorgeous. Then start building your salad by continuing. Leave this strip in just like that and begin to build the salad. Using a mandolin or a really sharp little paring knife, slice nice slices of almost transparent radish. The radish is gonna give the salad a nice peppery flavor and balance beautifully with the raw asparagus. When you're finished, just rain those beautiful radish down on top of the asparagus, mixing them throughout, and then peel a few more asparagus to put on top. With the asparagus and the radish paired, I'm gonna add a little bit of crunch. I've got pistachios. They've been lightly roasted and slightly salted. So it's gonna give a nice little bite to the salad and a little bit of texture. Those in, and now a very simple vinaigrette. I'm gonna start with the shallot, peeled and sliced in half. I'm just gonna make thin slices. The nice thing about the shallot is that it's uh, mild, much like a spring onion and a combination of garlic. Uh, it'll give me some really great flavor and it can be served raw. Into the bowl, along with some whole grain mustard. Now the whole grain mustard, that'll add a pop of flavor that'll really go nicely with the salad and some honey. I've got some local clover honey. I love honey because it's natural sugar, 10 times sweeter than sugar. It really could use a little bit of sweetness with the bitterness and astringency of the asparagus and the heat from the radishes. Some white wine vinegar. I love white wine vinegar. You could use cider vinegar or red wine vinegar as well. And some salt and pepper. So some sea salt, freshly ground and black pepper. You want to make sure you put all the ingredients together and whisk them to combine before adding the extra virgin olive oil. That way they get throughout and they get dissolved, the salt gets dissolved and you get a nice combination of flavor before adding the fat. I'm just going to put this cork board underneath to hold the bowl in place and we'll start to emulsify some of this beautiful extra virgin olive oil. The ratio between the vinegar and the oil is about three to one and the Dijon or the whole grain mustard acts as an emulsifier, bringing that all together nicely. And when you've got a really nice sheen, you know you've got a perfect balance of the acid and the oil. Finishing with some nice thin peels of Gouda cheese, this rich cow's milk will give it some really beautiful flavor. Just gonna arrange that. You can see that nice blonde color looks just beautiful. And now some of this vinaigrette. The vinaigrette will slightly begin to pickle some of the asparagus. Those pops of mustard seed will just be an explosion of flavor. 